Day 74 of being a girl. I forgot that my crotch doesn't look like other women's crotches sometimes. Dylan Mulvaney. Leah Thomas. These girls are getting right into it. Fox oh, oh. the knees and that's it. Fallon Fox. These are the names of biological men who now identify as women who are stealing opportunities from women and girls. Using he pronouns and calling me a man over and over again. I, I feel like that should be illegal. Now there's one name that you can add to the list. Faye Johnstone. Faye Johnstone is a biological male. I also come to this conversation as a proud trans woman, uh, but also as a white settler joining today from unceded, unsurrendered Algonquin Anishinaabe territory, colonially known as Ottawa. Who was formerly known as Zach Johnstone, who sits on the board of the YWCA nationally here in Canada. Faye Johnstone was one of the five featured women in the company's latest Women's Day marketing campaign. We can create a world where everyone is able to live in public space. Despite that catastrophe, the YWCA Regina has invited Faye Johnstone to be the keynote speaker at the annual Women of Distinction Awards. It's caused outrage, and it's caused protest, and it's caused women and girls to be silenced when they spoke out against that hiring online. Rebel News, we decided to give those women a voice. I created a petition at firefay.ca where 9,000 Canadians put their names to a list of Canadians who care about the opportunities of women and girls. My videographer and I, Kian Simone, behind the camera, we flew here to Regina to deliver your petition to the YWCA. We were headed down to the legislature to cover a protest, and wouldn't you know it, we saw Faye Johnstone sitting on a park bench. Hi, Faye. Hi, Hi I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed with yeah, Rebel News. Have a good day. No, she's not. She's currently out of office and busy today. Okay. Can I take a message? Uh, no, but what I would like for you to do, if you could do that for me, is I have a petition here with approximately 9,000 signatures. Um, yeah, that's people who object to the hiring of Faye Johnson, a biological I'm male, to be the sorry, keynote speaker. No. Yeah, of I, course we are. I don't uh, authorize to you filming me right now. Oh, okay, but this is a presumed public place. You have people who are coming yeah, and going here. But I don't here. authorize you filming us how right are you now. With you? Okay, but this is a presumed public place. It's not a private place, so yeah, you can But I don't here. authorize you filming me right now. That's not how it works. Excuse me. I, I, I just me. want to deliver Excuse this me. petition. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can I help you? Yes. I'm just here to drop off a petition. It's signed by 9,000 people calling on the YWCA to okay. send I hope invitation. you're not filming me. You're good? You are filming. Okay, I don't, you can't be on the property and be filming. Okay. We don't give you permission to film in here. And I definitely don't give you permission to film me. Okay, can I just give you no, this I'm petition? Not I'm not accepting it. These I'm are not... the signatures of 9,000 okay. people? I'm not the person that you need to talk to, okay? I just want to put this on Adrian no. Soroka's desk. No, just somebody I'm could sorry, I can't accept it. I'm not. And Why I not? I really don't appreciate being filmed. Yeah. Can somebody just take this petition? No. It's not radioactive. I'm not accepting it. The people that are our CEO and stuff aren't here right now, and I'm not in a position to accept that for them. If you would like to come back, you're more than welcome to come back and see them, but right now there's nobody there's here. There's nobody who can put this on Adrian Sorokas' desk. Just, yes. just nobody has arms and nobody knows the way to the office. Got it. Got it. So, I mean, it's not a big enough slap in the face for women and girls that you hired a biological male to speak on behalf of us, but you won't, take, leave the property. you won't take the names yeah. of the people who object either. Yeah, you guys are going to need to leave. Please. Okay, we'll, we'll leave, but thank you. I guess we'll drop this in the mail. Thank you. Bye.
Let's go to the post office, I guess. <laughs> in the mail. I've got the tracking number so they can't say they didn't get it. I'm also going to email the YWCA a PDF of all those signatures that were received at firefay.ca. Now that website is still up because at that special website there's a link that you can click on and you can send an email directly to Adrian Soropa. That's the director of events for the Regina YWCA, the person responsible for booking a biological male to speak at the Women of Distinction Awards. Let's just go um, ask Faye how Faye feels about Regina businesswomen who object to Faye being the keynote speaker at the Women of Distinction Awards being doxxed and threatened online. Let's go check it out. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Hi, Faye. Hi, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed with Rebel News. Good day. And I was just wondering how you respond to Regina wi businesswomen who object to you being the keynote speaker at the Women of Distinction Awards being threatened and doxxed online for, I guess, the crime of disagreeing with you. Hey. Have a good day. I'm gonna. I think you might too. Do you think it's okay for those women to be threatened for disagreeing with you? Like, I think that's an easy response. You should say, yes, I don't think women should be threatened for disagreeing with me. I don't think you should be threatened for disagreeing with me. Faye, do you think those women should be threatened? Because they are being threatened. They're being kicked off of social media. Biological women are being silent simply for disagreeing with you. Do you think that's fair? Do you think that they should be threatened? I think that's an easy response. No, I don't think people should be threatened. I said I would not like to speak with you. Please leave me alone. Okay. Bye, Faye. Enjoy your time in Regina. Women have been slippery sloped by policies that uphold gender ideas over biological women. And 10 years ago, we would not, we would not have understood yeah. the biological males are going to come into our workplaces and our safe spaces and the places where women go. Um, and those policies are harmful to women. And we understand that now. Yeah. And this is a this is a real learning lesson for Canadians. So what needs to change? How do we fix this? Because as women, I think we're probably a little bit a lot bit responsible for what's happening now. Yeah, um, I think that more women needs to speak out to stop cowardly um, shutting up and dismiss everything and just try to be accepted of everything. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that men should back us up because they're trying to erase them too at some point. If you erase women, you erase men, right? Right. You erase the nuclear family and everything. So I think that everybody needs to stand and the youth needs to stand because it's their future. Like young girls today, teenagers today will be erased tomorrow. They're starting at the year that they want to go home. Is it too far gone? Can we get back to where we were? Oh God, I hope so. Like I hope to God. Um, but this happened. So this is this has started to happen. That slippery slope so many years ago. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I hope so. That's why I'm. I'm. You have to stand. If you don't stand, then then you go with the rest, right? That's what we're called to. We're called to stand. Yeah. 
The YWCA says that they're committed to lifting up the voices of women and girls, but they sure didn't want to hear from this woman or from all of you at home when I showed up with your 9,000 names. But rest assured, we went to the post office, we delivered it, and I'm going to email a copy of the petition to them. In fact, if you'd like to continue to add your name to that list, please go to firefay.ca. And as you saw, Faye Johnstone frequently tweets about the violence that women and girls and trans-identified people experience in the world, but he couldn't denounce the threats being levied at women who disagree with him. You heard from my friend Lise, who first put this issue on my radar, and you saw her silent protest from here at the legislature. And as long as women and girls are speaking up against trans-identified males taking their opportunities, we'll be here to give them a voice. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. I'm here in Regina. I flew in all the way from Edmonton. Behind the camera is my videographer, my friend Kean Simone. He flew in from Calgary just to deliver your petition to the YWCA Regina, expressing your disgust at their hiring of a biological male to speak on behalf of women's issues. If you'd like to support our trip, please consider making a donation at rebelfieldreports.com.